What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you with some somber, somber news, somber times. We got a major issue, people. I pray no one ever has to make this video. Anyway, let's get into the video. Well, guys, this is something I would, wouldn't would wish on my worst enemy. This is the worst day ever in my life. And I know y'all probably going to say it's just a car. It's just a car, but it was much more than that to me. I'm lost for words. I'm sorry. So... As you all know, as a car guy and cars enthusiasts in general, guys and girls, we all value our possession. We all value, you know, the time and effort that we put into our vehicle. With that said, man, we pray that nothing ever major happens to our car. So, you know, a little over a week ago, basically, I was involved in an auto accident. Um, no matter how big or small, you know, no one wants to damage something that they put their, you know, their time and effort and passion in behind. So, as of right now, I have no idea if the car is going to be totaled. I have no idea if it's going to be refixed. Right now, I'm just really in shock. You know, I'm up in the air about a lot right now. And like I said, I pray nobody never ever has to make this type of video, man. But... You know, I'm a very transparent person. I don't want to keep anything from y'all. So, you know, I, I just really pray that, you know, Project Midnight isn't indeed totaled out. I really do hope and pray that everything is repairable. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry, people, man. It's just not knowing the outcome of your car and what's going to happen. Um, it's scary. You know, I've had the car over two years and I've done a lot. I've done a lot. So, um, I don't know, man. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, collision shitter today, actually, to drop the keys off. And maybe I can pick their brain about, you know, is the car indeed repairable or... Maybe we can have some good news today. I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers for that. So um, we'll pick it up when we get to the shop. Man. Yeah. We just made it to the body shop, and look what I see in the distance over there. Let's see if I can zoom in so y'all can see Hemi over there. Y'all see Hemi over there on her last leg. Oh, hear me. We're going to get you back right, baby. Hopefully they can do surgery and get you back right, baby girl. Let's go in here and see what they're talking about, though. <laughs> what you got going on with it? Man, I'm still in the process. I, I'm, I'm learning, literally, my first day back to work. Yeah. I'm just hearing about the car. Uh, I just got a lot of money tied up in yeah. it. And I do a lot on YouTube with it. I race it. Oh, okay. It's a race. I got it's you. a show car. Now oh, I'm converting shit. it over to a race car. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just I hadn't been back there to look at it. I just heard about it. He said you were here. Yeah, I yeah. just hope it's not total. I haven't even got to look at it. I personally haven't looked at it okay. yet. Okay. She said it was right now. It's fixable. Okay. Um, but she did, wanted to take that fender off. But if it totals, you'll retain it anyway, right? I have no idea, boss. If you got that kind of money, what do you got tied up a ton of money in? I ain't a ton of money, but it's enough. Yeah, yeah. It's enough. Right now it's fixable, so that's good. Yeah, but in the event that it's not, you can still talk to your insurance about retaining it if you feel the value you have in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So well, I think they're gonna fix it. We'll see, man. Like I, just, I said, I gotta I gotta go back there and look at it later on sometime before I leave today. Okay. See what's going on with it. Just trying to update anything missed on it. Yeah, so yeah. We'll right now I think if she said it was like seven, eight hundred. Okay. So that ain't, yeah, that ain't too bad. I think, what is it, like 70% of the value? Uh, I don't even know the insurance company. It's all, once I pull it up on the screen, it'll okay. tell me everything. Yeah. All right. You take a look at it, brother. All right. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. You got it, bro. Thank you, man. Yep, yep. 
So he said he got to look at it to give me further information. But I don't know everybody. He said, "What did he? What did he say?" He said, "It's a popular car. Everybody talking about it." I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Is that a good or a bad thing? Y'all let me know. Is that a good or a bad thing? I'm, I'm confused. I'm not really understanding. All right, let me take some pictures for Jimmy and the fellas at All Par. I'm gonna get their estimate what they think. I'll get back with you. Nobody ever has to go through this. It's terrible. But they busted down. So, hopefully, they can put everything back together. Damn. Ooh. Tore up pretty good, boy. see where your boy was off-roading in that thing and came to a stop. Jesus. But the good news was when I, t I dropped the keys off was everything dude seems to be repairable. You know, so that's good. As far as my tire, they may be able to give me a little kickback out on my aftermarket tire. Gonna need a new headlight. He ain't been out here in the rain. <laughs> Why they got my PCM cover off? Did they take the PCM out? Look like they might have took the PCM out. I had Jimmy look at that. But yup. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's it, people. There's your update on that. I'm gonna probably have to get all new underglows after this. I just want him to fix it. I'll get him back up and running. So, there's a bad news. I don't know. Like, it don't, I don't see no frame damage. I really don't. That's fucking wild, man. Damn, what happened back here? Oh, they took the uh, rocker panel off. Okay. I look like I need new side skirts. <laughs> All right, man. All right, so we're we're leaving the collision center here at Gerber Collision. Um, really still kind of a mixed bag on the status of Hemi um and I told her that it doesn't use you know your regular pump gasoline she told me not not to worry about gas it will put gas in it. I'm like no 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 it uses E85 she's like what's that you know I wish I would have recorded, recorded that conversation I had with the the with the uh the employee here at uh Gerber but Basically, she told me that, you know, as far as my deductible and, you know, the aftermarket wheels that I had on it, um, that she'll be able to work something out to where I can um, maybe get a little kickback from um, the wheel or that can go towards my deductible. I'll let everyone know about that. I'll keep y'all posted on that. Um, as y'all saw, man, Hemi looks repairable. It looks very repairable, but. You know, it's in God's hands now. I know a lot of y'all probably be like, it's just a car. You know, a lot of people don't understand that 
it's car people man it's more than just a car so you know a lot of people that's not in the car world be like oh your life is more valuable than your car which is true but I don't want to start all over with a whole new setup, a whole new build. All I, I don't want to go through all that. And, and I wasn't even done with the car. I was still modifying the car, still adding pieces to the car. So, with that said, you know, this is a video I hope nobody ever has to make. But with that said, things do look promising. So, you know, leave comments down below. Tell me what y'all think. Um, yeah. Somber day, man. 300 gang is a somber day. But hey, it always gonna be a better day, man. God is good. I'm gonna get through this. Y'all get through this with me, man. It didn't look that bad, though. Well, what had happened is, is that where it hit at right there in the mm -hmm. right front there, it got into the actual hinge pillar, which is right there and where it buckled up is into your wheel well near mm -hmm. the firewall and things like that. Oh, so it was stuff you couldn't see from the outside. Right, exactly. So, so it brought up the estimate by how much, you know. Uh, I know it was like 78. Yeah, it's almost at 14. Oh, so it went up another 7,000. Yeah. So who's that up to? My insurance company? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. So who would I call my adjuster? I would say they have different different teams that go through different parts of this phase. Uh -huh. So um, probably um, someone from um, their total loss department will contact you and go over those details. Because they have to go through numbers and everything else and mm -hmm. go through and get valuations and all that good stuff done, do their calculations, and then, of course, discuss the rest of that with you. Okay. When did, um, I'm sorry to keep asking questions. No, you're fine. When did um, they determine, um, I guess, when did they find out about the additional damage and when all that happened? Um, I got I got some information. I went over, had to go over it with a few more technicians um, mm -hmm. earlier this week. So, um, like I said, it's in review. I don't have like confirmation, but once right. it's to this per certain spot, that's when they they say, okay, stop, don't don't do anything. Don't do nothing. Right. right. All right. Well, just as soon as you know something, just let me know. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm now happy now. I'm like, oh no. Oh, goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Well, people, Amy might be dead, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bad ending to a good story. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's been totaled out. And you know your boy couldn't let her go with all her goodies on it. So we're taking the wheels, we're taking the hood. They said I could take the cold air intake. None of this will be possible with my boy Jay, Black Panther Camaro, man, coming through in the clutch, man, as always. Man. I just can't believe this is the end to this story, man. What you say, Jay? Come back bigger and better? Come back bigger and better with the baddest Hemi. <laughs> with the baddest Hemi. Do them like that. For all those who think you down and out, that's applauding. Right. Some slick stuff. Sorry. We'll be back. Keep people when they're down. Yeah. Lift them. You know what's crazy is the damage on this doesn't look that bad, as y'all can see. But... What he, they just informed me was, they said it's high strength steel and it's very hard and difficult to repair. It could be done, but their particular shop's not going to do it and it's going to be pricey. So, safety is definitely at a high accord, but like I said, we can bounce back bigger and better, man. We could definitely bounce back bigger and better. I'm just, I'm really just lost for words right now. You know, I can't believe, you know, all our hard work is, is, is gone right now. It's crazy, man. Damn. 
I don't know where I go from here, people. I really don't know. Yep, taking the wheels. I just bought these tires. It's ridiculous, man. But yeah, they said it was high strength steel damage on the frame, and that's why it couldn't be repaired. So let me finish up here, and I'll get back with y'all. Especially when you put all that time into it. I had a uh, 99 GMC Sierra that I'd done a whole bunch of custom stuff on it. Right. Back years and years ago, and somebody stole it. Damn. Cars, everything. It was nice. It's, but it's, they wanted it more than me. Well, that's normally how it works, man. When you yeah. put your time and effort, money into something, something normally always happens, yeah. unfortunately, like a theft or, yeah. in my case, Did this. What happened was a car stopped dead in the middle of the street, with not in the turn lane, and the car in front of me jumped out of the way at the last minute, so I was behind him. So when he darted out the way, I saw it. I was like, oh, shit, I ain't have enough time to stop. Yeah. So what I did was I jumped over in the oncoming traffic to avoid him. Yeah. And then he still turned and hit me after I tried to hit, avoid him. Damn. So what I should have did was just ran into the back of him. Yeah. It probably would have been less damage. Yeah. The crazy thing is, with the insurance man, they, it's crazy. If you try to avoid it, that's when they be like, ah, ha, it's oh, like, yeah. so That's what the cops like, said. It's, it's not natural to just go ahead and take something like, oh, yeah. they want you to do the opposite of what your natural, like you don't sit there and just take yeah, it. Yeah, your natural try reaction is try to swerve to avoid right. it. Right. And I told that to the officer and the officer said, you're still in the wrong because you, you tried to go on oncoming right. traffic. I'm like, so would you rather me hit the guy? He was like, yeah, it would have been better. I mean, but that's, that's just, it sucks. I was like, dude, I can't oh, win at this point. Well, what your instincts of that normal humans do? Ah, uh, so <laughs> human. And just take it. Yep. Yeah, they, uh, 2001 Dodge Ram 3500. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, extended cab. And I had a guy pull out in front of me on Georgia 400. Uh huh running five mile an hour in a smart car and i'm running like 75 mile an hour damn it and i hit the brakes and i tried to avoid him and i turned and as i turned the truck slid sideways so i broadsided the back of that smart car right but that truck at about 70 mile an hour i mean i just obliterated that smart car i mean that smart car turned and it was done did he, pieces all did the, the pass it was the driver okay at least yeah everybody was all right in the car That's i good. was good you know it just makes it good to kill my truck it blew everything apart so i know how you hurt your it. heart man. oh yeah Especially i've been going through time it. i put in the i've the been going through it these last couple of weeks it went from being repairable to not repairable in the course of two weeks i went from up here to down low now so well the insurance company at least straighten you out on the car i mean it's just going to be paid for i won't have to worry about payments or anything but hopefully but i, mean, I get give you any extra money for all no. the custom time or anything you put in i gave her enforces hopefully i get something back i'm fingers Don't crossed a lot because when i did that with that truck of mine all the uh, mechanical work that i done on it they, right they gave me a little bit of money it wasn't more that's the shitty part. It sucks dealing with the insurance company. They're all about making money. They ain't all about giving you your money. Yeah, you ain't never lied. What you think, Jay? Should I take them real side skirts or just leave them? Leave them? Oh, the slats? Yeah. Leave them? Dude, if you're going to get another one, I take them off, man. If you're, especially if you're planning on getting another 300. Yeah. I mean, the parts you know, are I make all those kits, man. <laughs> <laughs> My kits are better now, actually. Oh, that's why you said leave them. I got you. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> you know I got all that. I make that. It's just legit now. Okay, I'll leave him then. Look, sorry guys, y'all need anything? Y'all good? Yeah, I, I just need to get in the, right the right trunk. Down. I'm good. I got everything I need. Okay. All right, so that's it. I mean, I'm sorry. It's hard to do this, man. It's, I mean, that's it. Midnight is dead. Nope. Bad Hemi is dead. Uh, all that work, time, effort, money, everything, all that is gone now. And I'm, I'm just, like I said, man, I'm in shock. I'm lost for words. I don't know where I go from here. You know, because my canvas, you know, my painting wasn't finished. You know, and I had so much planned for this year. You know, I went out and bought a new camera. You know, I, um some new editing software and you know I, I bought some power adders for the car that I never put on you know um, matter of fact I, I insert some screenshots of of uh, the receipts of the invoices so y'all don't think I was lying to y'all but I, I, I did a poll And I had everybody vote on what power adder 
that I did buy for the car. So I'll drop a, a screenshot of the receipts and finally reveal to y'all what I bought. I didn't want to reveal it to y'all like this, you know, on such a bad note, but y'all y'all had the right to know. You know, y'all y'all been rocking with me for so long, so y'all had the right to know. So here go the screenshots of that, man. Yeah, so you can see I did go out about not a major power adder, but it was decent. You know, I bought a nitrous nitrous kit for the car. You know, all the supporting mods for it, you know, spark plugs and what have you. Um Yeah, we're getting ready to spray bad him, man. We were getting ready to spray it to the moon, man. I was looking forward to that. You know, I I mean this upcoming race season, you know, prior video y'all saw me buy a drag pack so we had the drag pack ready to go to match up with the nitrous also um i bought uh some demon killer springs you know the springs was going to go on the car that also helped with traction I, i'll drop a a, a, a receipt an invoice of that right now You know, just so y'all don't think I'll be lying to y'all. You know, I got to show proof. You know, because you know how people are in this world. And, you know, a lot of haters going to view this video and be, like, happy that, you know, the car is gone. But it's okay. You know, we're going to bounce back bigger and better as of right now. I don't know what direction I want to go. I have a few ideas, but like I said, I'm just in shock. Right now, I just got to get a car in general. Because earlier this year, I wrecked my daily. So I wrecked my daily earlier this year. Now I wrecked my baby. So that's two total losses within less than half a year. You know, people in Atlanta here can't drive, man. I, I, and right now, I'm just, I'm carless right now. I'm going to be 100% with y'all. I'm carless right now. You know, I'm going to have to go find me a beater. I'm going to have to go find me a little beater until I can get, you know, back to where I need to be, man. But it's it's just been a difficult time, man. You know, this whole COVID stuff going on and to be able to deal with all this, this, this car stuff. It's tough, man. It's tough. And I just want to say, as far as the channel, I'm not sure where the channel is going to go from here. I, I just want y'all to bear with me. I'm just really trying to get me a beater for right now and we'll think about you know going forward you know but as far as the channel i appreciate all y'all rock with me to this point best believe it's not gonna stop though we're gonna bounce back bigger and better um yeah so that's it man there y'all go man i mean that's it people i appreciate y'all man Appreciate y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm down, but it is what it is right now. So, as right now, I need everybody to watch the videos. Go back and watch the videos if y'all haven't. You know, new subscribers, go back and watch previous videos. Go ahead and copy out some merch. You know, we're not going to do that whole GoFundMe bull. You know, we, we're not doing that. Just support me by watching videos. Support me by buying some merch. And, you know, continue to rock out with me. That's the love and support I need from y'all right now, man. So, with that said, man, thank you all y'all for rocking with me. The 300 Gang, Homo Park family, man. And like that, it's your dog, Bad Hemi. We out this thing. Gang.